Hey everybody, Chris here, Four Directions Bushcraft. Hey, recently I got a request to do a video on uh, the difference of uh, of pine trees. Um, to do a review on on pine trees. So uh, we're here today doing a review on the shortleaf pine. The uh, the shortleaf pine doesn't do well here in Missouri. Uh, in fact, this is the only patch of shortleaf pine that I've been able to find. And this is at a park, obviously, with the sign behind me, you can see that it's actually named. But um, in our climate, it doesn't really do very well. They, uh, they're short-lived. Uh, this patch only ranges from, oh, maybe about a football field, so 100 yards patch on both sides of the road so this is the only patch I've been able to find I'm sure it uh, is scattered among uh, around Missouri but it doesn't do very well now with the shortleaf pine uh, the trunks really grow really tall and the leaves the pine needles are kind of at the top so it's kind of hard uh, to get I'll show you a close-up view of, of one here in a minute, but uh, They're not bushy towards the bottom like a white pine short leaf pine uh, They grow in fascicles of Two to three needles So here's here's an example of two fascicles if I can get in there and show you so two fascicles that are combined that are bundled up at the bottom, I mean. And you can see there's three needles, three needles in that one, okay? Also, three needles in this one, see? So its cones are two to three inches, thin scales, real thin. The shortleaf pine is native to southern southeast United States. So I think it, it doesn't go all the way down Florida. It stays mainly in the northern tip of Florida, uh, Tennessee, stuff like that. So it doesn't do very good in, in Missouri, but this is a great patch that we have here. I love coming down here. Pine trees. Are used for so many different things I, I mean I always say if you put me in a pine tree forest that you could survive you know no matter what I mean you can use them for you can eat the cambium layer the pine needles are full of vitamin C the pine cones are edible uh, good insulation with the pine needles um, they make great shelters they're easy to carve they make great friction fires um, you know, you can you can use them for pine, for glue. You can, um, you know, they're a natural fire starter with fat wood. So a pine tree forest. If you're ever stuck in a pine tree forest, you have a lot of resources around you. So anyway, this is the shortleaf pine, native to southeastern United States. I will uh, do a, a comparison of the needles with a white, eastern white pine as well. Uh, in fact, I do have some eastern white pine needles right here that I just picked from up the street. These are actually mixed together with the shortleaf pine here in this park. Uh, but here's the comparison. It's as simple as the fascicles that combine them. There's a two two leaf fascicle this one's dead of course but two leaf and a three leaf that I'm holding here of the short short leaf pine which is behind me this is the eastern white pine native obviously to eastern and northeastern United States and it has fascicles of five so if I pick one of the fascicles out of here you notice that they're thinner they're a little shorter but they have five fascicles in there and that's a distinctive way to tell the difference between red pine uh, shortleaf pine 
and white pine. Now all pines are good for bow drill, but white pine is is really really works really really well. It's a real soft wood, easy to carve, easy to make feather sticks, really great feather sticks. But uh, you can really tell that's the distinctive characteristic is it has fascicles of five. Now I can do a comparison on the short leaf pine cone and the white pine cone here in a minute I'll do that but unfortunately we don't have any red pine here in Missouri it's just not native here um, it's actually uh, native to the northeastern region of the United States as well just like the white pine um, sorry I have a cold so I sound sound kind of goofy but anyway I apologize um, the difference between the main difference between the red pine and the white pine is just that the bark is tinted red towards the top of the tree now it's gray and ashy towards the bottom of the tree but um, towards the top of the tree it gets kind of flaky and kind of has a red tint to it um, also the leaves the needles of the red pine break cleanly they will snap in half whereas the white pine and the short leaf pine behind me will they're flexible uh, and they come in fascicles of two normally uh, the now the needles on the the red pine are generally longer um, they are uh, th about three inches long so and they will break cleanly come in fascicles of two uh, that's again northern northeastern United States just like the white pine native to the northeastern United States see how a lot of them their needles and branches don't start until 10 sometimes 20 feet off the ground some of these have been cut because this is a park but the white pine normally its branches will start off early you can reach them this short leaf pine they're real tall and then the branches will start this is an up close shot of the bark on the short leaf it does have the same characteristic tint as the red pine this is at the base though and this is still kind of tinted the base of the red pine is gray and ashed looking and towards the top it'll be red this kind of has a brownish reddish tint all the way up the tree and it's real deep grooved and scaled okay so this isn't a very good example but it's the only one I have for you this is a white pine the bark is gray more gray than the short leaf and the red pine it's um, a little less scaly it has uh, thinner grooves uh, it's not as deep as far as the grooves go the branches are lower they hang all the way down to here where I can reach them the examples of pine cones here so this longer scaly one is a white pine and this here is the short leaf pine that are they grow actually right next to each other in this in this park so the difference in cones are there's a major difference as far as length size
I can't unfortunately show you the red pine I wish we had some here uh, if I ever find some I'll do a review on that obviously but uh, I hope this video helped you out and I hope you enjoyed it and um, I love pine trees obviously love collecting fatwood and um, also have a, uh, a an online website um, that sells fatwood at fourdirectionsbushcraft.com be sure to visit it check us out um, so I love collecting fatwood from the fallen and down trees of pine and uh, I just think I, I love pine trees in general they're great natural resources resource and the natives have been using them for years and uh, a lot to learn from pine trees so I hope this video helped you out thanks for your views your comments and support and uh, have fun out there guys and uh, we'll catch you on the next one take care